Hi everyone, today I want to talk to you guys about how to read and study if you have ADHD. Now this is something that I really, really struggled with in my life. It's been exceptionally difficult and frustrating to overcome because I love knowledge. I love to learn, but as soon as I'm faced with a book, I just shut off. I think it's because over the years I've associated it with frustration just because I'd start reading and thoughts would start running through my head as I'm reading and I would just give up because I'd be reading it over and over and nothing would go in. Really annoying, right? There are ways and means around it, something I've discovered from years of trial and error. So I just want to share these tips with you today, guys, because I think it could really help you a lot. So the first tip I'm going to say to you is you have to try and eliminate all distractions. Okay, so that means mobile phones, TVs, peace and quiet. Now, you can't always have total peace and quiet. In fact, you might be one of these people that needs background music. I'm not, but if you are, go ahead and play some music if it helps you. But otherwise, you can just get yourself some earplugs. And that's what I do all the time, especially if I'm in a library and it's full of people. So that's the first thing, get those out of the way so that way you have no chance of being distracted and it's just you and the book. Second tip is to get yourself comfortable. You have to be comfortable because if you're not, it's just going to be in the back of your mind a distraction. It's going to be there, it's going to keep on taking you away from the literature and it's going to be nagging at you. This goes for things like hunger, thirst, being sleepy, have a nap if you're tired, you know, you need to be fresh, you need to feel good, everything needs to be, the environment needs to be good for you. So you have two options. You can either sit yourself at a desk so that you have a lot of space, you have a lot of room to put your book and maybe a pen if you're going to study and take notes and you can use highlighters, things like that, not on the actual book unless of course it's your book, but I wouldn't recommend defacing a book, I just write the notes and highlight it. If you're going to take notes, I would say instead of actually writing notes as you go along, you're better off reading a chunk at a time and then summarizing what you've just learned. Because if, you just, if you're just going to write as you're going along, you're not really present, you're not really taking in the words for what they mean. You're just copying it and transferring it. So that's what I recommend. Just read a paragraph and then summarize in bullet points what you've learned. The second option is to lie on your bed. This is great for getting comfortable because sometimes I think if if I'm at a desk, my, sometimes my back can start to hurt and it can get uncomfortable. So I find that sometimes getting into bed and just having the textbook right there is a great way for you to just relax and soak it all up. So comfort is a big part of it. Now this is optional. You can either do this medicated or unmedicated. Now personally, I would always say you're gonna get better results if you're medicated because that's what the job of ADHD meds, right? It's, it's to get you to focus better. It's to make your brain better at shutting things out and hyper-focusing on one thing. This is what you need to achieve. So I, I personally think you have a better chance if you're medicated. And finally, I'm going to give you a tip on how to actually maintain the concentration. With the ADHD mind, thoughts are constantly coming into your head as you are trying to read, and it can interrupt you. It can be very frustrating. What you'll find is you'll start reading a bit of text in a book, and something will just pop into your head, and you're just finding that you're going through the motions. You're not really taking in the words. You're not really present and soaking up the meaning of the literature, right? So. The way to counteract that is just to apply this sort of meditation concept where you keep on focusing, keep bringing yourself back, keep bringing yourself back. If your mind wanders, it's okay, that's just the way you are, that's the way your brain works, right? So if you notice that you're doing that, if you notice that you're starting to fly away from the land of literature into totally unrelated things, then you can just bring yourself back. Keep doing that over and over, keep trying. 
right? Because eventually what's going to happen is you're going to build up momentum and your brain is going to become hyper-focused. You're going to start to become really immersed in the literature. I recommend that you practice this a lot. If you just do a little bit of this every day, you're essentially training your mind like a muscle. So if you, if you can just practice these methods of reading every day, you're going to get better and better at it. Even if you have ADHD, you can still do it. I hope you practice them and I really hope it works for you because I'm finding that it's working for me. Okay, cheers. Bye.